Hi, Cancer. This is your behind the scenes reading for November 2022. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Cancer for November 2022. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Cancer for November 2022. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Cancer for November 2022. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So, Cancer. Cancer, these are your cards, honey. So, Cancer, you have the Three of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is heartbreak. This is pain. This is suffering. This is agony caused by a third party situation. So when I say third party, yes, a romantic third party. But this could also be meddling family members, friends, co-workers, neighbors, anyone being involved in you guys' relationship that shouldn't be that is causing you heartbreak. So listen, Cancer, you're telling me that you're hurt? could be hurt because your feelings are hurt or you're hurt because there was a third party clarify the three of swords for cancer clarify the three of swords for cancer clarify the three of swords for cancer it is clarified with the ten of wands Aries, Leo, or Sag, something is difficult, something is heavy, something feels like a lot of work, something feels like the weight of the world on your shoulders, something is a burden here for you. Now this is a 10, so this is an ending, this is you wanting to release a burden. So listen, Cancer, you're telling me you're having a difficult time here, okay? Something is burdensome and you're just wanting to release it. I feel like this heartbreak, this pain, this hurt feelings is just so burdensome, okay? And just wanted to let it go, okay? Very well could be a third party here that's burdensome here. Cancer, you have the Seven of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is having many options, but all of these options aren't viable. Now, this can speak to confusion, wishful thinking, fantasy, illusions, but having many options. So, Cancer, listen, you could be all up in your head fantasizing here. You can tell me that there's some confusion. You can tell me that you need to make a choice. Or there was lies and illusions or the fact that someone had other options and explored some of those other options. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Cancer. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Cancer. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Cancer. It is clarified with the Four of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you taking a break, resting, recovering, meditating, praying, recharging your crystals. So Cancer, listen, you can tell me that you guys are on a break. You can tell me that you're trying to recover or you're meditating on something here. Now listen, you can tell me that you, you guys are on a break because of lies or illusions or the fact that someone had other options and explored some of those other options or some type of confusion. You know, you can tell me you're trying to recover from these lies and illusions or the fact that someone had other options and explored some of those other options. You could be at a place right now that you're so hurt. Right now, maybe you're meditating on exploring your other options because you're hurt by this and you're ready to release this person. Cancer, you have the four of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you holding back, holding off, keeping something close to your chest. Now, this is also a card of a miser, a penny pincher, someone who's holding back their coins, saving their money, being stingy, someone who's closed off, blocked off, not opening up. So, Cancer, you can tell me that you're closed off, blocked off, not opening up. You can tell me that you're holding on to your coin, saving your money, being stingy, or you're keeping something close to your chest here. Clarify the Four of Pentacles for Cancer. Clarify the Four of Pentacles for Cancer. Clarify the Four of Pentacles for Cancer. 
it is clarified with the eight of wands aries leo or sag this can indicate that things are happening quickly this can speak to travel but this is the fast rapid moving energy of communicating back and forth over the airwaves the internet with text messages messenger whatsapp emails phone calls even face-to-face -face communication but this is also the fast rapid moving energy of being intimate so Cancer, listen, you can tell me that something is happening quickly here. This could involve travel. You can tell me that you guys got into a heated discussion or argument throwing fiery dots at one another. Or someone was communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else. Now you can tell me that you're closed off, blocked off because you guys had this heated discussion or argument here, some type of confusion, maybe your feelings were hurt. You can tell me that you're closed off because they were communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else. They had other options, a third party. You could also tell me that there's some confusion here and this argument was over the coins here and something was said to hurt your feelings. Listen, Cancer, you have the chariot. This is you, Cancer, but you're determined to move forward confidently, victoriously, successfully ahead. Now, this can speak to travel. This can speak to relocating cities, states, countries. This can speak to moving from one residence to another or simply moving forward and leaving things behind. But you're determined to move forward confidently. So, Cancer, this is you. Clarify the chariot. For cancer. Clarify the chariot. For cancer. What about cancer? What about cancer? Clarify the chariot. For cancer. It is clarified with the five of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you feeling neglected, abandoned, excluded, left out in the cold. This can speak to financial lack and poverty consciousness. This could be a breakup. So Cancer, listen, you can tell me that something is going on financially, maybe some type of financial lack here, or there's a breakup, okay? Maybe you're just wanting to move forward because of the lack, financial lack situation, or you're just wanting to move forward after breaking up or moving forward with breaking up and releasing this burden. Cancer, you have the Eight of Wands again. Like I said, you know, you can tell me that something is happening quickly here. This could involve travel. You can tell me that you guys got into a heated discussion or argument throwing fiery dots at one another. Or someone was communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else. Clarify the Eight of Wands for Cancer. Clarify the Eight of Wands for Cancer. Clarify the Eight of Wands for Cancer. It is clarified with the Five of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. This is conflict. This is fussing, fighting, disagreements, arguments, jealousy, competition, drama. But this can also speak to you being conflicted within about something. So Cancer, listen, you can tell me that you're conflicted within about something. You can tell me that some type of conflict, disagreement, argument, some type of drama is taking place here. So listen, you can tell me that you're conflicted within concerning some type of move, okay? Maybe you're wanting to move here, okay? Maybe keeping it to yourself, thinking about it. However, you can tell me there was some type of conflict, disagreement, argument, drama taking place here with you guys throwing heat, he, he having a heated discussion, an argument, throwing fiery dots at one another, and maybe your feelings were hurt. But you could also tell me that you know, they were communicating passionately online with someone else and being intimate with someone else. And this is the cause of the argument, the third party being here, them having other options. Cancer, this is your behind the scenes reading for November 2022. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.